I already told you he was trying to date me, and he told me to go cross the line. Right. And I said, no, I'm not going to. And I you tell no. me his penis was out when you pulled yeah. up? Yeah. What you want, what you want, what you going to do when Sherry John Brown come for you? We on site at an assault in progress, and when we initially pulled up, I didn't know what we had. Uh, you know, because when they got out of the bushes, I mean, her pants are down, his pants are unzipped. I wasn't sure if it was a sexual assault in progress uh, or, quite honestly, what we had until we separated the two and uh, were able to investigate further. Both parties claimed to be a victim, uh, that she had been uh, assaulted by him and that he had just uh, been there to uh, render aid to somebody who we thought needed help. She asked me to give her a ride. Yeah. Next thing you know, my wall sitting there, she got out of the car oh, and up. walked away. All right. No. Is that before you unzipped your pants? The gentleman initially told the story of uh, how the woman had robbed him and stole his wallet, and I inquired him to uh, as to was that before or after he unzipped his pants, and he said, uh, you know, of course he looks down and you know, he's trying to you know pull his pants back up. It was kind of a tip off that there was more to the story than he was telling me initially. Uh, she was very forthcoming in what she does for a living. Uh, you know, she told us that she tricks mostly uh, off the internet and, you know, tonight she was just out on the street uh, and had, had engaged this gentleman in conversation about having sex for a fee. He was trying to solicit me. I was sitting well, what here. What did he say? He was like, hey, honey, I want to have a good time. I had a few drinks. I'm feeling a nice buzz. What's going on? You want to hang out? And I was like, hey, where, where do you want to hang out? And he's like, well, I want to cross the line over here because I know people around here. I used to build houses, he said. So I want to cross the line. I was like, no, I'm all right. And then he goes, no, you come over here. And got his car, jumped out. He was like, weren't you the girl? Well, you were in the car. No, no, no. I was talking to him from the, like, right here from the car, from the thing. And he got out the car and jumped out. And he goes, weren't you that girl, Jessica, that ripped me off last week? And at what Get point did you here. grab his wallet? I didn't grab his wallet at all. The man alleged that uh, he had stopped to just assist her as a, a woman in, in need of help. And it appears that he was in the city soliciting sex for a fee. Um, and when it didn't go her way, she stole his wallet. Uh, but then he tried to, to cover it up, uh, his part in the whole uh, incident, by you know, alleging that he was the Good Samaritan. Uh, stopping just to, to render aid to this uh, damsel in distress. I've had many calls for uh, to John, who's gotten robbed, that we've responded after the fact, and you know he's made up this uh, story and concocted this long story about how you know he'd been robbed. Uh, but it's the first time that I've actually showed up at a scene where the John was actively fighting the prostitute, trying to get his his property back. In the majority of these cases, it's it's the female or the prostitute who uh, who winds up uh, in, in trouble with the law. Uh, it, it's very rare the occasion where the John uh, we're able to make a case that the John was involved in actively uh, seeking to engage her her services. In this case, uh, from her testimony, what she told us, the evidence that we found in the vehicle. Um, it kind of brought it all together so that we were able to, to bring him into that, uh, in his part that he engaged in that criminal activity. You obviously have something that you feel like you need to hide from me, and you need to know that. Okay, I stole the car. Do you understand why you're going to jail tonight? What? I'm going, going to jail. jail. You're going to jail, George. What did I do? You had a bag of weed. You can't have that. We're just going to do it like this. Just give me your money. Just give me a run. I'm not kidding. Okay. Chat 432. What's your route to the alarm interface? Two Charlie, two King right with Baker 3 on the destruction auto.